it didn't exist before. They're trying to literally use his his proceeding as precedent to set this new law in. I know it's insane. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like a thing where ladies can just be like, ah, uh, you know what? I didn't want to have sex back then, and then it's a civil. Oh, you're talking about the civil one? Yeah, he already lost that one. Who cares? We don't care about civil court. I'm just saying in general, though, that was not a thing that was real. So civil court's not real. Yeah, but it was a brand new, like imposed law that was brought on by Donald Trump in that woman's court case. I know I was just what I was getting at with it is that none of it matters in civil court. There's like literally no rules. Like you're just fucked if you go to civil court. You lose. It takes no evidence to convict you. It's just a money thing, right? Yeah, it's like takes no evidence to convict you. Like the FBI got sued for killing Margaret Martin Luther King Jr. in civil court. Did they pay out? Yeah. They lost. That's crazy. Yeah, there's a bunch of them like that because it just doesn't take any evidence. So it still doesn't mean like they did it. Although I think they did it. That is interesting. Well, uh, like I said, though, YouTube now will allow us to talk about the election. How do you feel about the whole fraud thing since that's uh, it's an acceptable concept? So now. stupid. Do I think the voting machines were rigged? No, yeah, I forgot all about those. I don't really think the voting machines were rigged. But I do think the election, I'm sure, was rigged by both sides. Do you have a lighter? Rigged by both sides. I'm sure both sides are cheating. No, I guess. I'm sure every single election, both sides cheat probably a million votes. Yeah, so you're saying nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, nothing that Trump is, is alluding to. No, what I think where Trump misses the mark is he got hoed because social media essentially hosed his campaign. Hold his campaign? Yeah, if I was to say anything was election rigging, it would have been the hiding of the Hunter Biden laptop story. Ooh. Bec and because that was asked for by the government to Twitter. That's so funny you said that, my dog, because boy, oh boy, does your boy got a video that he created of all the leaked evidence. Have you seen some of the new evidence? No, what is it, Wild? You're going to see it. I got, I let it, we're, all right, we're going to, I mean, we're going to risk it. We're going to risk it for the biscuit because I found out that our last, not our last episode, but the episode before that got, oh, we're pretty far now, fucking age restricted because of the violence. Isn't that bullshit? Do you remember? That was the episode where I kept showing you kids punching their teachers for taking phones. I'll tell you, I don't think it's ridiculous because I do think it should be age restricted, but what's ridiculous is that you don't get paid for age restricted. But, like, think about it. To me, I, I wrote them an email. That was informational. We were... The thing saw, is with kids, it's more than just... You don't just give them information, though. That's, like, our precedent set. They're not... They don't get all information. They're letting them cut their dicks off and I, stuff. I know. That's why... That's why... That's crazy. That Man. part's crazy because they're not even allowed to buy a pack of cigarettes. To me, if I was like, all right, dude, let's watch... This kid beat the crap. Uh, it wasn't like that. I, I was talking how this is a horrible scenario, and then you were supporting the other side. You were like, no, you shouldn't steal a kid's phone. I don't care. Yeah, because like, I don't understand. Shouldn't. To me, I was like, this should be allowed, but now I know. So I'll, now I know for violence, I'll block out, but we're going to not block this out. We're not going to block this out. But anyways, yeah, I think that's the part that's rigged. <coughs> And what? also the social media. Social media should not should not be allowed to be uh, unbiased. They have to be biased. They're too powerful. We might have to block it out. We're gonna play it by ear, dude. But at least you'll get to see it. Now that I'm thinking in my head, we might have probably to gonna it get out. blocked out because oh, YouTube's man. pretty liberal. Are you saying that they won't need to block it out? No, they will. So they're not liberal, right? Conservative? No, they're liberal. I guess that is liberal now, isn't it? Huh? But back in the day, when you said liberal, that would mean they wouldn't be. No, they're the... Censoring. Sorry, we shouldn't even use the word liberal because it's incorrect for the definition of what these people are. It's not communist enough. It's not <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because that's really what they've turned to because, you know, liberal implies freedom and they're trying to restrict freedoms, so... Well, totalitarian, I think it'd probably be a better... Because they don't want us to share money. They don't care about that. It's... They do want us to share money. They're always talking about taking the money from the rich. No, we're talking YouTube, bro. Oh, yeah, but they're on the same agenda. Uh, so, I think totalitarian's so a problem. Well, yeah, they're told. First off, I don't think they have any real views personally. The people at the top, but big business is extremely liberal right now. Mm -hmm. So that's where you get your ad money. So you're whatever the businesses are telling you to be. Well, I mean, which is why everybody with Twitter is the same. Well, why did they block out the kids then? That seems liberal. Kids getting punched, or kids punching teachers and stuff. They want to spread that. That's just age. This is the violence for children. I'm sure that's just an automatic thing. Because mm -hmm. lots of parents don't want their kids seeing that. Right, right. 
Well, next time we'll blur it out. We'll block it out. You know what I mean? Now I know. You live and you learn. That's how it works. Great episode. Deserved monetization. But, um, all right, so your viewpoint is just that it was the normal amount of muddle, muddling. Yeah, but the social media was extra, and we need to fix that. Wait, you're just talking about the concealing of the Hunter Biden? Laptop? No, on top of that also, they're, they're actual pushing, because like, they like shut out, they like de-algorithm, you know, they pushed tr- all the Republican shit down, and yes. everywhere I went, I saw Democratic yes. shit by Facebook. That shouldn't be legal, it's very I, I personally don't think companies should be able to make any sort of uh, political shit, money-wise. Yeah, it's very funny that you say that. And it's, it's also funny because if you want to do political like um, ads, you have to like get special permission on Facebook and stuff like that. Like It's a different realm of ads. But I like that you bring that up because uh, there's certain things that I've seen, certain like experts when it comes to... Uh, to like, I think it was actually specifically digital cryptography that, that spoke about how they're literally tracking the swayables. They're tracking people that are persuadable and who votes for what. Like they can't see exactly who you vote for, but they'll see what you start searching, right? And that will give them an indicator, oh, this person is most likely to, to vote for Biden and, or vote for Trump or whatever. So I I agree with you. That seems like completely off base. Fraud. Muddling to a degree. Yeah, it seems like fraud to me. We know people are susceptible. That's why there's all sorts of other things we're not allowed to do for elections to keep them fair. Do you remember the Cambridge Analytic days? Yeah. When when Cambridge Analytics was literally selling their... Now, I know Trump bought it, and it was legal, so fuck it. I would too, but I'm saying... Uh, so they were selling like the ability to sway populations, basically. Like, you bought... I don't know exactly how it works. but I'd love if they took money out of elections altogether. Completely? Uh, let's say, yeah, I, honestly, completely. Maybe there'd be a, a cap, very low cap. So you just got a full... 100 grand. Oh, 100 grand. 100 grand, no TV shit. <coughs> you could do some internet marketing. No television allowed. Well, you could. It's just you only got 100 grand. That ain't going to go very far on there. It ain't. Because right now, this is a big money-spending thing. I don't know why we have all old people. That's why we have all old people. You have to be rich. They got a lot of the money, though. That's what I'm saying. They have all the money. That's why they're always in power. But I'm saying, bro, like, who the fuck listens? And, and, and I'm sorry. Excuse my language. And also my statement. Who the fuck listens to radio? You listen to radio? What did I say about the radio? Nothing. But old people got the money. And old people, like, what, I, the, what made me think about it is because radio has tons of money, bro. I mean, they got big money. iHeartRadio has millions and millions and millions of dollars. Like um, Sirius XM, like they will, be, they will be the ones that own Mojo in the morning. They owned 93, 6 point whatever. All that little stuff, you know? I'm just saying, like, they, they're old and they have all the money, but why? When no one listens, right? Or do they? Am I wrong? I think... I might be wrong. Not many people listen. Not compared to what you can get. <coughs> well, I can see how serious could be competing. I was, I was arguing with someone at work kind of about this. They were talking about like flyers, this and that. I'm like, I mean, they work, but like for your dollar, you should put every dollar in the internet. It's going to give you your best turnout. Like always. Right. And if you run your analytics, it'll tell you what your turnout's going to be. Right. I mean, I don't know. I'd agree, probably. Because if I, if I were to not agree, I would say I'm just trying to steer them to the internet. Like, let's say I had big money to pay for a projector, like, of a hologram. I would do my QRL code. You know what I mean? To bring like, them back to the internet. I'd and also, the internet. that probably wouldn't be as efficient as the amount of money that if you had invested it just in online marketing. It's probably expensive for a hologram. It's, yeah, it's probably expensive to do that and to get the clearance to do it there because you know you're not allowed to just do that. Right, but let's say it was not. That is a dank thing. I mean, it'd be cool. If you get it for the love. So here's the thing. The way, the way it could work out is if that goes viral on the internet, a video of that. Oh, yeah, that's going to That's be the only trouble. way. That's the only you're way it could be better. Scans. You're going to get a lot of scans. I would scan it. Kids are going to scan it. Every 12-year-old scanning it. Like, you're going to get a lot of scans. Don't, don't knock that part, but you're right. Like, the video of it, of people scanning? Well, because it's limited. It's only going to be the people that can see it. 
Yeah. It's a very low number because, like, anytime you're marketing locally, which that's essentially what that is, you just have that those people there. Yeah, and 59, well, though, like, man, that's 100,000 people in 24 hours or whatever, you know. 200,000. I don't know. Maybe even more. You can million. You got 8 billion people on the internet. <coughs> and you can target them. I mean, I've never had enough money where I've seen what you're saying, like, achieve such heights. Like, to me, I've only been able to spend, like, 25, 50 bucks on marketing, like, on Instagram ads and shit. And I don't think it gives me much shit. That may be true, but how many eyes saw it? Not how many people clicked on it, how many people saw it? Because doesn't it normally tell you that? Yeah, it will say It's that. normally a pretty big number, right? That's a pretty big number. How much money do you think you'd have to pay to get that many people to see it doing something else? But, I mean, you, you get like, I'm sure you're going to get like at least five, ten thousand 10,000 uh, where they saw it. Yeah, but all IRL are like human. Not all of you online is human. Wait, what? Bots. Yeah, there's bots. There's zero bots in IRL. No, but I meant that's, I mean, if you spent $25 and got 10,000 people to see it and even half of them wasn't real, that's 5,000 people that you got to advertise to for $25. What if 2% is real? How do we know what the percentage it's is? It's not going to be that low. I don't know what it is. I'm not trying to say you're wrong. What I'm trying to say is these are the metrics that I think about constantly, you know? Like, yo, so I just did my first YouTube uh, ad for an episode, right? Just did it earlier today. Went through all the whole thing with Google Ads. Targeted, right? I spent $20 for 24 hours over three days. 60 bucks. And uh, what was the point of me even saying that? What I was, was waiting for you to get to it. I'm sorry. I don't know. That was my first. I guess I'm proud. I'm proud of doing that. Oh, yeah. How am I going to know when it's all said and done? What percentage is IRL or what percentage is real people? What percentage is bot? Uh, I don't know. And then at the end of the day, it's like, well, why does that matter? Because what matters to the advertiser, huh? Because isn't that really what matters? What the advertiser will pay the video creator, CNN, Fox. Yeah, so the bots don't matter then. I'm not. No, shut up, dude. No, don't let. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is. I'm saying the they advertiser. Could matter, they could not matter. The advertiser can't they, tell either. That's why it doesn't matter. Think. I don't know what they know. Well, they don't know because like Twitter didn't even know how I many bots Twitter had. Shit. Like when I try to figure out how to audit. Like I audit my channel to the best of my ability all the time. Like. You can run your channel through a website, right? And it's like, it claims here that it, that it audits it. But I don't know what that means. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know what that means either. No one knows what it means. I'm saying I, that's the farthest thing I can find to do. I just meant advertisers can see what you can see and nothing more. Can they see more? No, I don't think so because it seemed like Twitter couldn't even see how many bots Twitter had. They didn't even know. You know what I'm saying? The actual company didn't know how many are on there. So I don't think anyone knows because I feel like they'd get rid of the ones they don't want if they could see them. Well, that's good for ad, ad dollars, but what about selling seats? Selling seats? Well, then I guess you would be able to tell off of uh, how many people showed up based on how many saw it. You wouldn't know how many are real, but you'd know what your actual turnout is. So that's all that matters. You can skip that middle number. It doesn't matter. I'm just saying advertising online probably doesn't help sell seats. Or maybe it does. It doesn't. We don't know until it, it could not, though, dude. Maybe you're getting four grand from the advertiser, but you're not really selling tickets. And you know you can make hundreds of thousands of dollars in a night on ticket sales. You're probably selling the tickets on there, though. Most people, that's where they get their tickets from. What? The um, internet. They always get them online. Yeah. So, I mean, but you're already on I don't know if there. the views will translate to the sales. They will if your views are translated onto the sales, if that's what you're pushing it for. Unless your product is terrible. Or unless the views are not real. Some of them are real. Well, obviously. <laughs> I don't know. It's that's just that's why I'm saying it mind, doesn't though. matter. That's why I'm saying it doesn't matter. Because, like, all you need to see <sighs> is, like, the real interactions. Interaction is key. Because that's all that matters. Because you know what's just as bad as a bot? Motherfucker that don't click on your shit. This saw it. That's still a waste. Yeah. <laughs> that's why we target it. 
That's why we try to do target ads so you get less of those. <laughs> yeah, I wrote Tim Dillon. <coughs> yeah, so that, at least on uh, YouTube's, that's how it works. You can just type in, like, actual artists, and it will target. Or it will pull up all the keywords for that artist, and then you just click the keywords. So I was like, though. That is the way. Well, I think that it is important to bring up the Dominion aspect of it because, like, Dominion probably never would have made as much money if Fox didn't sue Never. Them. They'd have never made that much money. They would have been a broke-ass company in they Brazil. No, I mean, I'm sure they'd have made it still, like, you know, what there's a little more than they was making and continue to build, but they wasn't going to make no three-quarters of a billion dollars. Bro, do you know where that company is from? It's from the shittiest shit country in the world, dude. No, I'm kidding. That's mean. But it's from uh, Venezuela. All that gas, none of that freedom, huh? They got. They're like the most resource-rich place on earth. But no freedom. People live like shit. Yeah, it's sad. That's why communism's bad. It is bad. It's a perfect example. Yeah. They got all the money in the world there. They don't even have communism there. But kind of. Like, he sends out people once in a while, and and he'll give them, like, a million dollars worth of crap. That's communism. (laughs) I know, dude. Yeah, but China's is like where everyone has to work and work hard, and then they pull the pot. They got a better communism. But also, they're partially capital. Yeah. Because they realized communism was fucked because they were full communists and they were losing. Well, was Russia really full, full? They didn't do like the China type? No, they was full, full too. No, but China was too. China just recently transitioned over. Yeah, I remember learning about it. It's kind of hard to remember, but I just know that it all goes bad because like, well, they were all no poor. No one cares. Well, the, it's like, that's why everyone's poor because there's no money because nobody wants to work. But those countries were poor from the beginning. They just like grow crops. They're big farm countries. And well, then, I think China's big issue is too many people. Well, China had ups and downs because that's like a 3,000 year old. I know. I'm saying thing. recent China or more recent China. They just had too many people at once. Because isn't it funny to think about like before the 80s and stuff? Like wasn't China like a like weren't they like the like all the intellects and like. Didn't they, what do they have? Buddhism comes from China, right? No, India. No, that's Hindi, Hinduism. Both. Oh, okay. Now, now, they do practice some Buddhism in China. They don't have an actual religion there. Well, I know now it's definitely like not allowed a lot. Like You get caught. You get smacked up. They don't do no religion there. Smart. I know. But back in the day, I'm saying, I think that they like developed <clears throat> those type of like things in that area. But maybe not. Maybe it was India. Maybe you're right. I don't know. But I do know that Buddhism comes from Hinduism. But yeah, I know it's an extension of it, yeah. essentially. A better Off one, shoot. if you ask me. I mean, it sounds better, which is why it makes less sense to me. Like, when they're always, like, really clean and shit, I'm like, this doesn't make as much sense. I like Buddhism because they got no God. They got no angels and stuff. Yeah, but they added the good evil thing, and that's where I'm always out. I'm like, that's not real. The good and evil? Yeah, because every animal on the planet would just be horribly evil. I don't think I've never heard of them talk about that. They talk about suffering. It's what, it's what you reincarnate into based on how you were, if you were good or evil. In Buddhism? Yeah. What type of person you are? It's not good or evil. Yeah, the type of person. It's not good or evil, though. It's good or evil. No, no, it's no. It's just no. different wording. They, well, they base it off of your materialism. Exactly. Not murder and stuff. I know, which is crazy. But still, I mean, they're a very materialistic country. But do you know why they do the materialistic thing? Because it's just, it's true. The more materials you have, the more possibility for pain. That's all they're saying. And they say the more, like, that is true, bro. Is that not true to you? More possibility for pain? Yeah, like if you got Ferraris, you got big houses and stuff, it could get taken. They're attack vectors. Like, they can take your car, they can take your house, you can lose it, and then you're going to look back Remember how you just said a few days ago, if you're not rich after you did your prison sentence, you ain't shit. Like, if you if you don't have those things anymore, it's going to cause you pain. You're a loser. You lost the game. Right? Um, I don't know that it causes more pain, though. How Cause, not? Because the people that never had shit had to deal with pain all the time, and it's probably worse. They like, just better at coping with it. Like homesteader people? No, like, let's say a uh, person that just grew up poor as fuck in Detroit. That's a different scenario. It's going to be way worse than just the rich guy losing his Ferraris and being a normal person. But the, the, Joe Rogan, I've heard him say this a bunch of times. The worst thing that's ever happened to you is the, the worst, worst thing, thing that that's ever happened, happened to you. To you. Yeah. And, and that's all it is. 
like growing up poor like that is kind of a bad like example to me like you gotta choose like a tribal like somewhere where they're poor like you said but not out of like being surrounded by rich things like this is the only thing they know and it's just this the lifestyle that they like to them they don't know they're poor they're like no i have fish and food and like da 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 those type of people well, those people live better lives than us <laughs> The Buddhism is just claiming that those people are the ones who will be reincarnated as a higher thing. I know, because they think they're better people. You just said they're better people. <clears throat> I said they live better. I don't even know if that's true. Is it true? They're happier than us, so they must be living better than is us. Is that true, really? The happiness is the biggest part of life? If you, uh, let's look at this this way. Suicide. Mm-hmm. That's the best gauge of happiness. Is it? Yeah. I think so. Or at least unhappiness. Yeah, I mean that's the ultimate. I didn't. I, I, I'm not happy. Yeah, it's, nobody can lie about it. It's over. You know, you just blew your own brains out or whatever. Why are all the most developed countries, the most industrialized countries, the unhappiest countries with the highest mer- suicide rates? Right. It's Japan, America, China. Goddamn right. Work, 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 Britain. work, work. Um, <clears throat> I ain't got an answer. But okay, so you're saying that. That is the indicator of the worst. Because you know what comes with our stuff? This is why stuff can, can be bad. We have Suffering. to pay for it. Yeah. Stress. Stress. And, you're, and you could lose it. But you don't need it. They just had to learn that. So you're saying, if you lose it, just don't be sad about it. Fuck it. Whatever, you can earn some more. Honestly, if you can do that, then you're fine. Then you kind of... Be- Everybody has that ability. But I think that... Well, that you don't know that. We don't Everybody. know the abilities of every human. Huh? We don't know the abilities of every person. All right. Well, if you're in America and you had all that, mm. you have every ability to make some good money. Everybody can go out and do it. We don't know the psychological state, though. Someone might lose don't it, care. be a little bitch, kill themselves. That would prove you wrong. That would prove that not everyone had the ability. They didn't have it. They did have the ability, though. <laughs> they just, they just didn't use it. I don't know. I really don't know because I used to think that everyone could learn to be intelligent or uh, high, like smart, and then no, that doesn't work that way. Not either. it, but they could still be successful. Yes, that's the difference. We definitely were taught in school though, like you can be smarter, work harder. Well, like, I just feel they worded it wrong. You could be more educated. You could be dumb and be educated. Yeah, like lots of dumb people are educated. Learn fast and it's the shit. worst because they think they're smart because of how we used to word it. You don't become smart. You're born smart. You can yep. become educated. Yep. It's something that you mostly inherit, they say. Like the smartest people I've met all did not have formal educations for the most part, or at least not extended, like high school at the farthest. Nice. Didn't do that well, or like did pretty well, but like could have done way better. Right. I mean, I know really intelligent people that did get formal education too, though. They definitely do that. You know, there's the Walter Whites out there for sure. Uh, yeah, they're out there. They're without a doubt. <laughs> but I do hate a person that... But, can... like, the people, when you talk to them, you're like... How do you have a master's? They're normally... That no, person? no, I talk, I'm talking about the other people. Like, it'd be like some drug addict friend of mine or some shit, and they start talking, and you're just like, uh, oh, you're, like, really smart, and you're just, like, kind of fucked your life up, huh? I hate I think that. I think that happens to smart people a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you'll meet a drug addict, and then he'll do, like, uh, a Rubik's Cube in, like, 17 seconds. Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> like, like they're, like, got like, some oh, shit man. down, and they're, like, talking, and you're like, this guy's smart. <laughs> like, why are you, like, here? You're like, oh, shit, something's really wrong with you. Like, you're a genius. But, I mean, there are studies that the people with high intelligence end up doing drugs. Oh, yeah, for sure. For me, I mean, I was just someone curious. Of drugs. Of drugs, yeah. They tell you there's a thing you take and it changed your brain. That's insane. How is that not? Oh, it's super curious. How do you not want to know what that is? I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with drugs. I just think that drug <laughs> addicts by like... 100% uh, I agree. Yeah, that's my thing, dude. That's my thing. Not a big fan of drug addicts, dude. But I know that a lot of times... When people are addicted to drugs, it's actually tied to mental health. And yes, can, yeah, yes. And that's the whole thing. And they can get their mental health worked on without going into a therapist, without going into a physical space. They don't have to do any of that anymore. They can do that through betterhealth-therapy.com. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Betterhealth therapy, betterhealth 
Dash-therapy.com. You see, when I want to work on my mental health, and yeah, man, I hold the job down. I'm making all my payments. I'm doing everything. But I still need to work on my mental health. And I do that not by going into a physical place, but I do it at betterhealth-therapy.com. Transition game tight. Tight, boy. Yeah, but it is sad when people are drug addicts. It's always, it's always uh, more sad, but then also fascinating when you meet like a genius one. I've been a I bunch. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For like sure. Way more than I should have. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't met that many smart people. Have you ever met the- someone who was stupid, but when they were so high, they said something that was like seemed channeled? <laughs> yeah, I mean, what's what's that about? Uh, I think like maybe like uh, they so messed up that their brains are operating a little higher. Like autistic a little or something? No, just like, all right, just like if you're a dumb person and you take Adderall, you are smarter now. Like literally smarter. Yeah, capabilities you've never even tapped Like your brain's running at a higher efficiency rate. Your IQ don't go up. You can't adapt any better, but you can do everything faster. Right. Can you put this in the ashtray? Yep. (coughs) <coughs> it's fascinating. Met man. a lot of smart people in the joint, too. I'll tell you one kid that might have been smart, but he wasn't smart on uh, this specific day. Did you see in the news? Breaking news. Break, 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 That the 18-year-old baseball star was going to be an MLB sensation in the Bahamas, jumped off a cruise ship. Oh, I saw that. You did? On Facebook. My man, dude. And oh. And he died out there? He did die. See, this is the thing. I got the videos, but how do we both watch the video? Flip it. Put it right there. Put it there? Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So I got that baseball star, 18-year-old. And uh, yeah, man. I guess he just wanted to be cool. He wanted to be a... Idiots. He wanted to be a TikTok sensation, huh? It's a mind virus. I've heard someone else say that. I like that term. I like that term, dude. Yeah, so 18-year-old. Oh, damn it. Sorry, guys. I just started working with a Mac. I'm not used to using a Mac, and they are completely different than, like, an HP or anything that is a Microsoft involved. Yeah, I'm not a fan. They say they're easier, but they're not because not everything's me. like hotkeys and commands that you can't see on the screen. So it's actually not coming into it. My guy, he knows the truth. He knows the truth. All right, I'm going to set this over to the side. So it's a pretty short clip, but, dude, I have to find my jewel. (laughs) Talk to him, OZ. Tell him something, bro. Aren't you working on music? I mean, I'm always working on music, man. But I don't know. There's not a lot going on besides making music and working. Like a slave, like a dog? Hell yeah, all the time. Working on something. I forgot you still used a jewel. Yeah, someone else said that to me. Because, like, you're, like, the only person I know. Yeah, they said, you still use a jewel? But at the bar, I saw this girl using a jewel. Yeah, I mean, they still sell them, so obviously there's, you're not the only one. Yeah, dude. did. I was like, I mean, people use jewels, bro. Um, all right, let's watch this kid do the jump. This kid fucking jumped off! Oh my fucking god! Oh, so that's the shark. Oh, bye bye! Oh shit! That's that white. Right. And do it! Yo, this kid's kid fucking off, bro! Take it. This kid fucking jumped off! Check her out. Because. If you look real close at the beginning, to the left, you'll see the shark do a splash. And then look at the right part of the screen, because that's his white figurey body. Oh, my fucking God. That's oh wild, my dude. Oh, bye-bye. Oh, shit. That's and the and and oh, shit. Oh, Yo, this kid's fucking off, bro. Bye-bye. 
dog, get your dog. Where is this shirt? Oh, uh, the Bahamas. No, I'm in the video. All right, so look to the left of the screen, right off rip, and just keep your eye focused for a white figure. You can see the shark. It just makes a brief splash. And that's why that lady's screaming. Oh, I saw the splash. Oh, yeah, boss. And that's why that kid takes off. He saw the shark. Just think about it right now, dude. So it's not storming too bad, but they're moving too fast. If he would have just went to that buoy, he'd be fine. But also, that shark would kill him. So he actually made, like, the only evasive maneuver you can make at that moment. But what an idiot, man. For the jump at the beginning. You know, all this safe sa space stuff, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, got, it got these kids thinking they're invincible. Like, I'm not, I'm not, like, scared much, but there's no way I'm ever jumping out in the middle of the ocean. The water is crazy what's in there. In just the middle where you're not allowed to? Because I've yeah. jumped in the ocean. I've snorkeled the ocean. Yeah, I've gone yeah. scuba diving. I'm talking about when you're in the middle of the ocean. Yes, yeah, is, is that where they were? I think they were just on the booze cruise, dude. I don't think it was that. But he wasn't supposed to jump in. It's shark infested waters. Like beaches are different because when you're at beaches, they have like barriers that are built way out so that like uh, the sharks aren't supposed to get in. It's not even that. So like when you're on those cruises, they're monitoring those those fish and those sharks. So like they'll run into ripples where it's shark infested waters. I'm assuming he didn't go to the captain to go, hey man, what's on the radar right now? Like like even have you gone fishing? Yeah. Yeah. Even my like my dad. There's, like, less sophisticated radars where you can still see all the fish and monitor that, bro. Like, that's how they decide. Because when I've gone snorkeling in, where was it that was dangerous? The Virgin Islands. They had to check with those radars to make sure while we were out there. And they were like, it's fine. But it could be so not fine. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I'm not jumping in the middle of the ocean. Period. So I bet homie didn't think, right? I bet he was like, dude, we just went snorkeling earlier. It was fine. Nothing happened. That's what I'm saying. How stupid is that? You don't know what's in the water? You don't know, though. Exactly. Nobody does. <laughs> no, I'm saying I bet he was kind of dumb. I bet he didn't know that the... Obviously, he's dumb. <laughs> he did. You it's know what the I middle bet? of the night. Dude, I bet he's a fan of the Nelk A Kaplitz. giant wave could just come in and drop him under, and he's dead. Fuck a shark. Like that could, Just that little thing could take him out. The water's nuts. The water is crazy. The ocean. Dude, I bet he's a Nelk Boy fan. And what he thought was going to happen was he's going to be... I bet he thought he was going to be on their podcast, sitting on that couch. And they're going to be like, all right, dude, today we have a young dude who's about to be in a Major League Baseball star. He just <laughs> jumped off into the, <laughs> into the Bahamas water, bro. Middle of the night. That's what he thought. He's crazy, man. <laughs> I was gonna viral sensation. Brian Stout like, barely made it out alive. <laughs> Dude, he thought he was gonna be at his wedding, and they were gonna be telling you know the guy's best man or whatever. He's gonna be going, Jenny. Brian is a crazy guy. I remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> 2023, he jumped off the boat <laughs> in the shark infested waters, man, and he made it out alive. He didn't give a fuck. He's a crazy guy. <laughs> he punched a shark in the nose, man. <laughs> ah, that's so funny. So they haven't found his body, but he's definitely dead. It's like six days now. <laughs> R.I.P. All right, Peter, uh, whatever his name was, young man. Dude, he, he paid the ultimate price for fame, dude. And he got it, though. He got it, kind of, but we don't even know his name. You know, what's, what would have been better if he would have survived, made it to the Nelk Boys? They he wouldn't have. No one, have no one would have cared. Jumping off a cruise ship is not cool enough. If he would have survived that shark. If he survived the shark, yes. If he would have survived that shark. But he had no chance. I'm not even sure he was going to survive that water. Yeah, they were about to just sail off without him. I don't well, think they're, sail they're, they're on a cruise. What do you what want I'm them saying. to do? That's what I'm saying. There's no <laughs> stopping it. Like They're about to no. take off on him, and he's just floating <laughs> in the middle of the water, and water's crazy. And that's a booze cruise. Ain't no sailboat. That's motorized. It's yeah. going fast as shit. I mean, you saw how quick it was going past him. <laughs> I was like, he's gone. Funny. He said, hey, yo, grab the buoy, John. 
<laughs> His boy said, bye, boy. <laughs> I know. That was crazy. Oh, my God. That was so funny. All right, man. Let's move on to the next segment. Dude, that was fire, though. I knew that was going to be a banger. Uh, dumbass. <gasps> right. R.I.P., though. All right. So this one is actually going to be the hot ticket. This is the one that we're probably going to have to block out. Maybe not, but um, Hunter Biden, right? Recently in the news. Not for this, though. No mainstream. Twitter's on it, though. Twitter's on it. Twitter's always on deep. it. So I got a little montage clippery, my dude, and you can just click it and watch it. You click it and watch it, watch it close. Because um, it works better if we just watch it once for the editing. That's why I'm saying that. But um, this is a clip of the recently leaked photos from Hunter Biden's laptop. So just click the Hunter Biden number two slide and give that one a whirl, my dude. Yeah, you gotta click it hard. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> we about to drop it on the tube, too, for y'all, though. Can we not drop it on the tube? Okay, I like it. Want it, need it. I gotta have it. Call me greedy. Just like magic. They don't believe it. No excuses. I ain't making no truces, I ain't taking no losses, neither. All facts, no falses, keep them. Two chains, one cross, no jeans. I got plays, what you say, I got pain, yeah. On my own, do my thing. Those are real, dog. Yeah. Oh my God, what you doing? Why is you playing? Hey, bring the pain. Hey, yeah. Black hair looking all stitchy, waist man make me itchy, glitchy, going too silly, really nine shots sent two fifty, and these cost two fifty, man man shake your yeah. Wasn't the first one insane? All right, so listen, I before I think I've already talked about this. I always get a little weary though. So before when I first heard about this, I went deep on the dark web looking for the truth. I wanted it, dude. I wanted. Hey, look, dude, look about that. You see what I had right there? So like. You saw the blurred out ones, right? Yeah. Somebody had to have saw that to blur it, to release it, right? Yeah. So why can't I do that? That's what I was trying to do, right? Long story short, though, I couldn't find nothing illegal in the beginning until now. Isn't that weird? So on the dark, I mean, I went deep, dude. I was on Agora. I was on Middle Earth. I was literally trying to buy the videos, looked in different aspects, for the, looked for the videos, <laughs> Did you see <laughs> in the video that um, allegedly he hooked up with Michelle Obama's daughter? Did you see that part? <laughs> right, 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 right. You're like, I saw that. I saw that. You're like, I did. I did. Right. So that I did find. <laughs> that I did find. But that's not illegal. Because when he had sex with her, she was 19. You know what I mean? So when I originally <coughs> found that, I thought to myself, <coughs> still a big scandal, though. <coughs> yeah, but YouTube, it was when I had that community strike. I was about to just talk about it for no reason. I, I, to me, like it wasn't a big enough thing, and um, I don't know. And I couldn't find it on the normal <coughs> web. I could only find it on the dark web at that time, and I didn't want to, like, I don't know. I was too freaked out about the dark web. I didn't do it. I didn't roll with the evidence, but this time I threw it in there. So you see, I mean, it's it's just alleged, but um, I didn't have this slide, but I want to bring it up to you. So there's a specific birthmark that she has on the left side of her mid back. You can see it in many normal photos, like on <coughs> on Google. Whoever that girl was, <coughs> he was smashing and doing them lines. What does that look like? Did that look like the Yale or the Ice Theo? That looked like crack. The lines next to the ID. Oh no! When he was, I had it on the scale. That was crack. Yeah. That's a separate. That's a separate. <laughs> Twenty point eight grams. <laughs> yeah, dude. That that's that's when he was chilling with uh, his hookers. They looked of age. That didn't bother me. That was fine. Um, cause that's fine. That's fine. I don't even care about the crack. 
But the kids in the video That's is where dumb. I got that dirt. <coughs> That's where I got that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is why I don't think I can show it. <laughs> I guess I'll bring it up for them. Cause you know you know the photo uh where he's with his niece slamming her. <laughs> yeah, I don't know her age in that photo, and that one's straight from the Twitter. Twitter doesn't follow all the rules when it comes to the ages. Yeah. So we're blurring it. We're blurring it. Although I think she's of age in that photo. I don't know. She's definitely not of age of all the little kid photos. No. Of but isn't that crazy? He's doing, he's sexing his, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. He is banging his own niece, dude. His blood niece of his dead brother. Probably learned it from his dad. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Dude, Hunter Biden. He is into some nasty thing. Oz, tell, tell, tell us about some of the things you saw in that little skit right there, that little video right there, bro. What are some of the things that you witnessed right there? Look like some pedophilia, man. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> even though they said they said we can swear, I'm gonna bleep that out. I don't even want them. I don't want them coming my way for that, dude. All right, but just to clarify, because he left it pretty open ended, he I didn't he did not see any pedophilia per se. No, just a lot of circumstantial evidence. In the photos that I presented, is blocking out the parts of his private. You know what I mean? Like there is a photo. I don't know if you noticed. There's a photo of his niece where it blocks out his penis and and her fa- when she's young, young, right next to his penis, and he's naked. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's pretty damn. Neat. I don't care. How how is that? Is that that's, how is that not that's illegal? That's pedophilia to me. I mean, that's pedophilia. Even if she didn't put it in her mouth, but it looks like it's. It looks like, ladies and gentlemen, y'all got to do your own research. Because I don't think I can put that video up, dude. Is that a fly video though? Yeah, I liked how it was put together. You should put it up, <laughs> dude. Just don't put it up on your channel. <clears throat> then where would I put it up? On oh, another just another channel, world? and then share it on your channel. So worst comes to worst, they just pull down that other channel, and maybe, right. and maybe you get a strike. But it doesn't look like you made it then. I feel like I gotta block out the you his probably, niece's boobies. Yeah, you should probably do that. Yeah. Well, yeah, all, all nudity, all, all nudity. Right, right. But it's there, dude. <clears throat> it was real. It was real. So what? What verifies it? Which part? The validity of it. Of the photos. Yeah. Um. I mean, I guess there is no real validity, just that multiple news sources are running with it. Okay, that's, that makes it fairly valid. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, because there, there is no, um, there is no... Yeah, I don't have the expertise to, to know things like that. <laughs> There's so. no formal, like, extra formal investigation happening off that, but it's interesting because the FBI did decide to prosecute him for a different charge out of nowhere. So they're trying to prosecute him for having an illegal firearm. But it's funny because... Do I, do I have that on here? I better have it. So right now, Hunter Biden is setting like a groundbreaking precedent because the FBI is trying to charge him because he was high on crack cocaine while having the firearm. Did you know that's federally illegal? Yeah. Oh, shit, dude. What? Really? That's crazy, V. Why? You can't have drugs and, and, and a gun in the same area at any point in time. But what if you're prescribed the narcos? A little different. Yeah, what's up? You can't get prescribed to crack. Yes, you can. For cluster headaches. Look it up, ladies and gentlemen. Crack cocaine, HCL. Okay, but he headaches. wasn't. Nah, he, we, you saw it on the scale, boy. He was... <laughs> but no, I mean, you need much better evidence to prove that he was in possession of it at the same time. Right. You um, can't just be like, he owned a gun and we know he was high on crack at some point, so... No, 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 no. I think they got him dead to rights or whatever. Don't even matter. His lawyers are co- they are going with a constitutional right. Like, they're like, it's like a groundbreaking case now. They're, they're stating, F that. He's not guilty, and he has the right to bear that arm. Always? I think it's because the, the, ar- the, the firearm was purchased completely legally. That does not matter. I'm, I mean, so like, I got the article. I'm going to pull it up. <clears throat> I'll pull it up. 
No, I'm trying to figure out because if so, that would mean I, we we can get guns. So. I'll, I'll pull it up. So I'm just gonna play they're, it. They're stating that you can't lose your right to bear arms. That they're trying to make that a. I know. Fit. I'm saying if that goes through, then like we should be able to get guns. I know. Because no matter what, I should be allowed to own one. You really should. I agree with that. Yep. I wish that's how it played. Um. So since we talked about it, uh, Hunter Biden groundbreaking case. Okay, cool. So it's right here. All right. Yeah. Click the third one, dude. Wow! It's like somebody produced the show. It went perfectly. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys leave comments. Make sure you guys leave that love. Um, make sure you buy this administration. Here's how ridiculous this administration is. Hunter Biden, right, who's currently under investigation for violation of a wide variety of laws up to and including gun laws. Well, now Hunter Biden is, is going to become a, um, a gun advocate According to Politico, Hunter Biden could soon find himself in a surprising position at the cutting edge of the fight to strengthen the Second Amendment. The president's son is the target of a Justice Department investigation scrutinizing his purchase of a gun in 2018, a time when he had said he was regularly using crack cocaine. Federal law bans drug users from owning guns. But the constitutionality of that law is newly in question after a Supreme Court precedent handed down over a year ago. His lawyers have told the DOJ that if their client is charged with a gun crime, they'll challenge the law under the Second Amendment. So suddenly, the president's son is going to have to file a lawsuit to broaden the Second Amendment in order to avoid being prosecuted by the DOJ on charges of illegally obtaining a gun. It's a slow, slow clap for Hunter Biden, who has done nothing but make trouble uh, for his father and his father's administration. Meanwhile, President Biden himself has taken up the mantle. Is that the end of it? That's the end of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> he was about to go on to just bashing our beautiful President Joseph. I didn't know that. Damn, I wanted to hear that. No, man, get out of here. Anyways, anywho, if I know I wouldn't want to read it either, but I provided the overlay articles if you wanted the deeper details into the constitutional like changes that he's actually putting <laughs> in front. But is that crazy? Yeah, I mean, he's going to lose. You think so? Yeah. Because mm. it would mean what I just said. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, you think they're going to let that happen? They've been trying to take our guns. They forever. let it happen in Texas. Texas never wanted to give it up. I'm just saying, maybe the blue backs him. Bro, he says, I love my little hunty. It's his only son. It's what he has to do just because it's his kid. But, if it, but I'm just saying, he might make it happen because it's his kid, bro. I know that Hunter Biden is under an... He don't got that kind of pull, man. I don't know what pull he has, but this is the pull he did have. He had the pull where he went to... Uh, Ukraine back in the day and said, listen, I will have you all fired from your positions and put in jail if you prosecute my son for like the million. It was like hundreds of millions of dollars that he theoretically, I guess, stolen tax money and did it. And then he said it and bragged about it on camera. It's like the last cognitive, awesome statement you have ever heard from Joe. And then um, exactly. And then, but now he's, in, that's an open investigation on him. But I guess they don't do anything until after the presidency. Is that how this yeah, works? Yeah, you, you can't get in trouble as the president. <laughs> While you're president, you sit pretty, dude. You can, you do can only be impeached. Okay, okay. That's not happening. They protect sweet little Joe. And you just get removed. You're I like, love Grandpa Joe. I'm, big, I'm not a fan of his, him as a president, but him as like a sweet old man, I like it. He's not a sweet old man, though. Well, he is now. He's like, he's like a senile old man sometimes. I didn't add it in, bro, but I had a old video of him with a what looked to be an underage girl. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Now, he didn't touch her he in likes, the video. He likes smelling them. He didn't touch her in the video, but she was topless, and he was topless. They were two topless people. And he's a lot younger, but still old as hell. All right. So you saw the Hunter Biden thing, big hunty. You know I'm a big fan. You can still tell. with the pedophile. Oh, I hate that part. Damn it! Ugh, I don't like that. That hurts kids. Yeah, that's a no go. But he's really like uh, the spirit of like you know, anti-establishment. You know, no, steals, he's more like, he smokes rock. He's more like the spirit of stranger danger. You said almost everyone in prison's a pedo. A big portion, yeah. Do I gotta hate him? Yeah. We all hate it's them. Wrong. In there. It's the one wrong thing in my head. It's the only thing that I might think is terrible. Like everything else, explanation. There's an explanation for everything exactly. else. Like I was gonna say, I can't. Like if I could live in, you know, like the Elpo story, how Elpo shot his man's at the end or whatever to steal the keys or whatever. Yeah. Like because we were in that moment watching, we know. Like to me, he's just as bad as a pedophile. Like he's bad. But I'd only know Elpo's side. He'd go, my man, man's was stealing. 
And I go, well, if he was stealing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> like, 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 there's almost always like at least a logical reason. Like, even if they're like robbing someone, like, man, I needed this money. This I is... needed it right now. Like, I had to pay something or I was going to die. You think he's on that? Like, man, I, you don't get it. <clears throat> I needed that 12 year old pussy. And, and no I, one takes it serious. <laughs> They're like, nah, nah, that's not how it works. Niggas still love R. Kelly. What's that about? We just, they just like his music. Yeah, but they don't be like trying to kill him over his pedophilia and shit in prison. I hear he's loved. Because he's R. Kelly. And they, you know what I mean? I bet though in the morning though, when he gets like to Chow Hall, I bet they're like, you know what time it is, nigga, sing that shit. <laughs> I bet it's like that, dude. I bet it starts cool, too, if he starts quick, you know? Hey, hey, Kelly, come on with it. Go ahead. Do that one. <laughs> nah, I don't know. I've never been in prison. I'm making shit up. I don't know how they talk. But, um, okay. Yeah. Nah, I can't like him. It's gross, too. I showed you. It's gross pedophilia. Yeah. Because, honestly, like, there's there's instances <clears throat> where I don't think it's that bad. Like, 17 and 15. I don't really yeah, care that much. That stuff ain't... Like it ain't sh- it ain't the same realm. It's not at the all. same level. The under thirteen and the the law doesn't look at it as the same level either. Good. You getting more you getting more trouble for the, for the lower numbers. Good. The under thirteen, under five, all that shit. And the from what I showed, <clears throat> it doesn't almost seem like he's going low for the sport of it. Something. Who knows? I don't you know. See the he's one just in the car, the one with the little kid in the background where he's naked. That one's the freakiest to me. It's like, what is going on in that room? And what does the kid have on? It looks like some weird blue costume. Yeah, it was What's weird. What's going on? It's messed up people. Dude, his niece is... No explanation. That's the thing. No explanation. You have no explanation. Hunter, why are you naked and your niece is next to your penis? Yeah, no explanation. What's the explanation, dude? Can't have a reasonable explanation. There could never be an explanation. <clears throat> He's a sick guy. All right, let's move on to the next segment, dude. News. By the way, dude, so should we switch over to the page? To what? To the Patreon? I don't know. Am I on? Pretty close. God damn it. 52. You're... That is pretty close. Let's continue for one second, though. Let's continue because I wanted to ask you Do you think DeSantis is going to beat Trump? Not a chance. Why do you say that? Because of the polls. Well, don't you think DeSantis is better equipped to be a president? No. And why do you say that? Because <clears throat> he just seems like a politician, man. Okay. But what about all? I also life? don't think he can win. What about how he slaughtered Florida? Florida gang on top. On top? No, he 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 did he did all right down there, but the president's way different. He left it open. They had the least amount of deaths, and we know they have that all the part olds. was great. I like that. He did great there. That's why I know who he is at all. Yeah. Oh, but do you you you, are, not a good, you don't think it should be a popularity contest anyways? I don't think he could even beat Biden. God, dude. He's bad at talking. He's who also would vote for, for Biden. He's also impl- he's also trying to implement a 6-week abortion ban. Do you know that I bet that they're going to push it like this? They're going to say, who wouldn't vote for Biden? Look at everything that got done during. They're going to, like, all the lefties are going to say, it doesn't matter who it is, if it's Biden or not, because of the people behind Biden are going to take care of our leftist agenda. No, what they're going to push is how bad whoever the other side is. Like, if it's Trump, they're going to they're going to trash Trump. That's how, that's how they're going to promote this. Do you think they and can get that going again? Uh, I don't know that they can get the hate behind Trump like they did before, but I think they can with DeSantis because he is for the six-week abortion ban. He just implemented it in Florida, and they'll grill him on that. And we just saw what happens when you do that at the midterms. But it I was mean, it was going to be so red, and then they and then the Roe versus Wade thing happened, and then it was just they didn't do near what as good as they were supposed to. People Texas has been rocking that. Texas never changed that. Texas is. I'm talking about the rest of the country because you you can't. You, it's it's not just one state. That's the difference. I like to use them for everything, dude. Texas is fire. I wish the whole country was Texas. You know, in Houston, you can have... I wish we were the United States of Texas. Texas, But they're hard on drugs. Yeah, but they're getting better. So, like, that part's going to ease in. They'll kill you if you got a kilo of cocaine. They'll kill you for a lot of shit. That's not cool, too. No, no, but (laughs) that's that's their downside. That's their downside. But I do do appreciate that they they keep it 100 down there with it. 
You don't die for years and years, though, for real, though, right? When you're on that? Huh? It's... Oh, no. The, the, theirs is a lot quicker than Oh, theirs else. is not like everywhere else? Yeah, I mean, you're still going to be years and years, I'm sure, but like, you certainly ain't making no 10, 15 year run. Yeah, like every documentary I saw, people are like in that shits for like 20 years, dude. Yeah, it's not going to be like that it ain't for like a dollar in Texas. And if like you did something really terrible, it expedites you. Oh, they do heinous crimes shit? Yeah. Like if you decapitate a baby type shit? Yeah. <laughs> Get you off the earth quick. Like you decapitate a baby, we shoot you when we pick you up. No. Oh man, <laughs> no, I don't think they would. I don't think they'd do that. They That'd might. Be quite extreme. I think I there's a lot of quite extreme down there. Not a very good place. No, it's a pretty great place to it's be a honest. Pretty great place. Probably, probably one of the greatest places, but not the best place. I don't know. It might I think be Florida's the best. the best place. No, Florida's not. It's like falling apart. Like literally the ground. Oh. But I mean, it's also getting like you know the wa- raising water levels, so it's like shrinking. The laws are dope, like and like I, the laws are dope. But yeah, I think Texas's laws are doper. Nah, they look too much for me. They look they're, too far. They they do have that, but then on the same same thing, a lot of freedom. Be a lot of freedom. But you got all that same freedom in Florida, almost. <sighs> yeah, bro. Bro, yeah. I can own a gun in Texas. You can. That's the. Yeah, there. Yeah, uh, that's the one place. I can own a really tiger like in Texas. You can own a tiger in Florida. You can own a tiger in Florida. Don't get it twisted. You can own a fucking tiger in Florida. They let allow exotic animals. No, let, we gotta see because it. Uh, look like, her up. Look her up, dude. I'll look her up. I got it. They do. They do. Tigers are permitted in Florida. Can you own a tiger in Florida? <laughs> Drum roll, please. And nope. Damn. In fact, uh-huh. there's a, they're pretty strict, actually. No exotic animals. Not none, but there's is definitely tighter. I'd have to look it up more to see their all the thing. But it sounds like you have to get like tons of permits and stuff, and it's just for like injured animals and stuff. But if you have two point two pounds of marijuana, in your free state of Texas. You got to do 10 minimum years. How do you feel about that? That's freedom to get, you? Just get your med card. You can get your med card there. They don't allow a med card. It's just decriminalized. Look it up. Look it up. I, I think it's decriminalized in Houston. They can have four ounces. They don't even have medical there. They're garbage, bro. Yeah. Good old Texas. Yes, they have it. Med card? Yep, the 2022. Whole state? Yep, 2022. Dang, they just got that boy. I told you, they're progressing. So this is, everybody's going to be cool with the weed eventually. Texas, boy. It's just too hard to keep out because it really doesn't make sense. Ooh. It does such little damage. In Florida, you can have a gun. I can't have a gun. You can't have a gun. I can't have a gun either there. That's what I'm saying. Dang. Can't have a tiger either, bro. Like, how am I supposed to live out here, man? Can you have a gun everywhere in Texas, or is that just Houston? Everywhere. Wow. I think Arizona, too. Wow. Because I heard DMX talking about it. I'd have to dig deeper into it, but... You say, yo, that's why I moved to Arizona, man. Yeah. That's what you say. I had He's to get like, my yeah. I had to get my artillery, man. He's like, it's dope. I just drive around quad. Now, what about now? Patreon. 